Hey guys, what's up? It's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. You already know the deal. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. If not, what's good? What's up? Welcome back. So today we're doing an exciting video. So I got my hands on the new Cream of Nature Pure Honey line. I literally have all of the products right here. So I was super excited about trying out this line just because I'm an OG Cream of Nature fan. Like I used them back in the day like it was nothing. So when they came out with a new line, I was like, yes, your girl has to review these products. However, before we jump into this review, let's just talk about this packaging because I think I have some tea on this packaging. Um, when I first got this package sent to me, I was like, um, did Maui Moisture send me some new products? But then I looked at the labeling and it said Cream of Nature and I was like, wow. This is literally the same exact packaging and labeling as Maui Moisture. All the way down to the design of the bottles of the conditioner and the shampoo to the deep conditioner to the twisting creams or whatever like literally the same thing but anyways enough of that what really matters is how these products work in my hair so we are going to get into that so i do want to make note that even though they really do emphasize the pure honey aspect of this line it's called you know pure honey honey is literally like the 10th ingredient in almost all of the products so yeah, so let's just read this hair mask to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. And I'm just gonna zoom this up because I cannot pronounce anything. Aqua, water, essential alcohol, the hedge ammonium chloride, hydrocoxy propyl, starch phosphate, dicentidinone, chloride, perfume, isopropyl alcohol, white tea, rose pearl, jailer, central alcohol, clopidogrel, coconut oil, dicomoferol carbonate, dimethicone, dimethyl colo, hydroxylized milk protein, hydroxylipoosomosis, lesser acid, lesser alcohol, disulfonic acid, chloroglucide, honey. But other than that, let's hop right into this video and let's see how these products work in my hair. All right, so first off, I'm starting off with this shampoo and this is the Pure Honey Moisturizing Dry Defense Shampoo for dry dehydrated hair. It contains pure honey, it's rich in coconut oil, and it's like a creamy shea butter. It says no sulfates, mineral oil, or silicones. And I have to say that the shampoo is hands down one of the best products in this entire line. It is super, super moisturizing. As soon as I put it on my hair, I just felt instant heaven. Like it felt beautiful. And you guys know that Crew Nature does their shampoos really, really well if you um, you know, own their other line. And this shampoo is no different. It's bomb.com. I was literally detangling my entire hair with this shampoo. I only put it on my scalp at first and massaged it in, but after that I was like, no, I'm gonna put this all over my entire hair and I literally took my brush and I combed and detangled my hair. Like that's how legit this product is and I would definitely repurchase this. Even though it does contain parabens, but I'm not really big on ingredients like that. I don't know, that's just me, but if you are, this might not be for you, but it's bomb. So once I'm done rinsing that out, I'm gonna go in with the Moisture Replenish and Strength Hair Mask. It also contains the same things, pure honey, rich coconut oil, and creamy shea butter. It says no sulfates or mineral oil. And I really do like this product. It's sort of watery in a sort of way. It's not really thick, it's not too thin either. And it kind of reminds me of a clay. That's the type of vibe it was giving me, especially because of the color. And what I like about this entire line is that the smell is not overbearing. It actually it has a really nice light, fresh kind of smell. So I did enjoy that. And this deep conditioner did give me a lot of slip. It was easy to detangle and it did make my hair feel super moisturized. So I did really enjoy that. So pretty much I just put it throughout my entire head, focusing on my ends. And I also sectioned my hair off into four sections and I applied it that way. And then I just threw my hair up into a bun and left it on for about 10 minutes. And then I just, you know, showered up and then I rinsed it out. Okay, so next I did go in with the Moisturizing Dry Defense Conditioner, and this stuff is actually pretty, pretty thick. However, I was disappointed in this. It didn't do what I thought it would do. I thought it would be just as moisturizing or even more moisturizing than the shampoo, and it wasn't. Um, I kind of feel like I wish I didn't put this on my hair. That's how, you know, it just wasn't working for me. I just feel like the shampoo was way better than the conditioner and it, honestly, it shouldn't really be like that. The conditioner should be like number one. If you can get your shampoo right, get your conditioner right. But anyways, I just applied that throughout my whole entire head. Once I was done rinsing out the conditioner, I just rang out my hair and then I applied a microfiber towel and then I hopped out. All right, so now onto styling. As you can see, my hair is looking a little bit kind of dry because the microfiber towel did, you know, soak up a lot of that water. My hair just dries really, really quickly. So I'm just gonna part my hair off into like 
I don't know what you would call it. It's sort of like a half style type thing going on. Um, the part doesn't have to be perfect, but we're just setting myself up for, you know, my twist out that I'm about to do. So I'm pretty much just parting my hair. I would say like maybe like one third of the way. I don't know. And then we're going to work on the back section. So next I did go in with the Not Away Leave-In Detangler and this stuff is pretty pretty thick. I thought it would be a little bit more on the watery side just because it would contain more slip and everything. So this detangler claims that it instantly detangles, it improves manageability, it helps repair split ends and restores moisture, and it soothes the cuticles and removes knots. I honestly didn't feel like it made a difference in detangling, that's just my personal opinion. And that could be because my hair was dry. So anyways, I'm just gonna section my hair off into medium sized sections and now I'm going in with the Pure Honey Break Up Breakage Leave-In Conditioner. And this is supposed to moisturize dry hair, which it definitely did, um, help protect against breakage and it also helps detangle, which I feel like this was a better detangler and I really like the consistency of this product. And then I'm gonna go in with another one of my favorites, which is the Moisture Whip Twisting Cream. This stuff is really, really thick and creamy. It's like the best of both worlds. So I'm just gonna take a bit of that and apply it to the section and work it throughout my hair. And then make sure that my hair is super detangled before twisting. So it claims to define and elongate curls, provides crunch-free soft and shiny curls, long-lasting holes, non-flaking, non-sticky, non-greasy, and I agree with all of the claims that are on this, you know, bottle. This stuff is bomb. I really, really did enjoy it. So I'm just gonna make sure to twist that all the way down and as I'm working my way down, I'm gonna make sure that I'm applying more product if I need to. And once I reach the end of the twist, I'm just going to twirl the hair around my finger just to make it coil up. All right, so we gonna get into the next twist. I'm pretty much gonna do the same exact thing. I'm applying some water, detangling. Detangling is a must for twist outs. And then I'm gonna go in with the leave-in, spray a little bit of that, work it in. And then I'm gonna go in with a generous amount of the twisting cream and work that in. Detangle one more time and then twist it up. All right, so this is how my hair looks once the back portion is complete. My twists are shiny and hydrated. Okay, so moving on to the front section of my hair, I'm just gonna part it off into like a diagonal part. Um, you just pick whatever part you want. And then I'm gonna go in with the detangler again because I didn't apply it to the front section. And then I'm going to spray some water and then detangle. Okay, so now I'm gonna part my hair off into smaller sections and I'm sort of doing it again on a diagonal because I want it to fall kind of like on the side of my face, not exactly in front of my face. And then I'm gonna apply some of the leave-in and then some of the twisting cream and work that in. And then I'm going to, of course, detangle. And then this is where I'm going to be flat twisting toward my face. And this is where my camera messed up. It just got out of focus, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but anyways, I just flat twisted all the way down and added more product, detangled, and then twisted until I was at the very end and then I coiled it up. So this might be a better look. I'm not gonna explain anything because I pretty much do the same exact thing all around my entire head. So yeah, this is how my hair looks once complete and the amount of twists that you have depend on, you know, how big your head is, how much hair you have, and the size of twists that you wanna do. So yeah, I'm just gonna let this air dry overnight. So this is the next day. As you can see, I did apply my satin scarf and I did add two perm rods to the two front twists just because it kept unraveling. I'm just gonna take some oil, which I was so disappointed in Creamy Nature for this because you know, their, their oils are bomb. So it was unfortunate that they didn't include an oil in this collection. So I did use my 
um, curls oil, blueberry bliss oil. And now I'm just going to unravel my twist because I do need an oil to, you know, take out my braids and twist to avoid frizz and everything. So yeah, I'm just um, gently unraveling my twist, sort of just pulling it from the root and twisting it in the opposite direction. So once that's complete, this is how my hair is looking. I personally like a lot of volume, so I'm just going to break apart the twist even more. As you can see, there's like a little chunky one, so I'm just gonna break it apart and then apply some edge control, which honestly, this edge control reminds me of their argan oil edge control, which, you know, is not too bad. So I'm just gonna apply that to my edges and lay them down. And then lastly, I gotta make my hair bigger and better. So I'm just taking my hands and lifting up my roots. And these are the final results. I absolutely love how my hair came out. I do think that there is a bit of frizz, but overall I love the definition and the shine. And yeah, I can't wait to try this twisting cream again. I feel like next time it's gonna be even better. Stay tuned because I will have an upcoming video to show you guys how I maintain my twist out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of my hair. And um, yeah, let me just hop into my final thoughts. So overall, I would repurchase the shampoo, the twisting cream, as well as the hair mask. I'm in between with the leave-in conditioner because I actually really did like how that worked on my hair. But overall, I did get amazing results from these products. So yeah, comment down below if you are going to be trying these products out. I would love to know. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Deuces!